<laughs> this is Dr. Sanusi and excited to be back. Um, we're going to be talking about uh, nose abscesses today and the reason is uh, we have seen I have seen a few recently and we just wanted to address that. Um, so generally when children come in and they have swelling around their noses sometimes the history is oh they had a pimple and they picked it and this nose started swelling. No, nose swelling is important because if a child has an infection of the nose and their nose is swelling there's a uh, uh, a triangle around the face that we don't like to have infections and that's like here because it can end up going into the cavernous sinus which is at the base of the brain like just behind where I'm touching on my face. Wait, isn't that uh, why you advise not to pop pimples when they come yes, here? Yes, that's why when people have pimples we don't want them touching it because it can get really bad and it can go into the cavernous sinus in the brain and it can actually cause uh, abscesses in the brain. Oh. So um, when we have children coming in with swelling of the nose and it's extremely painful, we usually like to do a CT scan. That's in the US now. Okay. And the reason is we want to make sure that there's no abscess in the brain. We want to make sure that everything on the face looks fine. Most children that have nose abscesses, where their nose is like twice its size, we like to admit to get IV antibiotics. Mm. Because when you put, oral, put those children on oral antibiotics, it takes a while for it to start working. So IV antibiotics is usually our first choice. And then ibuprofen, just to make sure that everything is covered. If there's anything to drain, like if there's a boil there that needs to be uh, drained, then you want, they want to, we want to do that in the hospital. We don't like to drain it and send you home. So it's always safe to do it in the hospital. And then we like to get ENT, ear, nose and throat specialists involved because that's their area of specialty. So most times your child has swelling of the nose, you want to go to the hospital and your child might need to be admitted for IV antibiotics. Once your child has had a CT scan and the results are reassuring and there's no brain abscess, your child might be in the hospital for a couple of days for IV antibiotics and then over time you discharge home on oral antibiotics to complete a, on average 10 day course of antibiotics. But it's not something to take lightly when you have a child whose nose is twice the size and it's expanding because of that uh, triangle, the area of um, the tr triangle area of the no of the face which is extremely um, significant when you have an infection because of that cavernous sinus thrombosis or um, infection going into the brain from this area of the face. So most times when uh, parents come in with children like this, we have to have them do all the tests. We have to put them on IV antibiotics and make sure that they get all the care they need and then before they are discharged home. And I just wanted parents to know how important it is to keep an eye out when you have any child with swelling of the face, especially if it's not allergies. If it's an allergic reaction and they have facial swelling, that's also significant because by the time you have facial swelling and it wasn't like a bug bite or something that you put on your nose that made it swell, that's significant. So go to your doctor, have them check you out and make sure that we're not missing anything so that your child gets the care they need as soon as possible. All right, thank you so much. That was really insightful. All right, we'll catch you guys later. Until next time, bye. Bye.